Jane Philpott's Limousine Liberal Ways. I'm Brian Lilly with the Media. I suppose it was bound to happen eventually, one of Trudeau's cabinet ministers being caught up in that old liberal trick of, how did David Dingwall put it? You're trying to say that entitlements, uh, I'm not entitled to my entitlements. No, I am entitled you. to my entitlements. That's right. Entitled to your entitlements. It's the sort of thing that can befall all kinds of politicians of all stripes. People get to Ottawa and decide that, well, we owe them. We owe them to keep their tushy cushy. And that's what's happened with Jane Philpott. She decided that it was up to her to hire the limousine company of her choice, and she decided to not only hire one that's owned and operated by a liberal booster, someone that worked on her election campaign, but to overpay those people to the tune of perhaps thousands of dollars, and then to turn around and lie when asked directly in Parliament whether she ever used a limo service. There's so much to unpack here. First off, there's the $3,700 that Jane Philpott, the health minister, says she will reimburse. Why? Because she overpaid for a limo service that some say could have been done for five to $700. She paid $3,700 to have a car take her from the Toronto area down to Hamilton and Niagara. Now, that is an expensive ride. Oh, there were two of those. And so $3,700 she's looking to pay back. There's another $3,800 though. So now, now we're up to about $7,500. $3,800 of that were for about 20 car trips from Pearson Airport in Toronto to her riding back in Toronto. Hmm, seems like an awful lot. That works out to about $190 a trip, well above the cost of Uber or even an airport taxi. Seems exorbitant to say the least. Those are now under review. Phil Pot, though, as I said, lied about all of this. How and why? Well, every single uh, cabinet minister was asked in an order paper question whether they used a limousine service, and if so, what it was. Phil Pot responded, no. An order paper question is not the type of question lobbed off in question period where people spin and, and you know, obfuscate all the way, an order paper question is a very formal way to ask the government for information. You're supposed to be straight up with those. In saying she'd never used a limo service, Philpott misled Parliament. She could face a charge of contempt of Parliament due to this, simply for saying, no, she didn't use one. Now, what's her excuse? She said it was her department's advice to do it that way. You see, it wasn't a stretch limousine she was driving around in. It was a luxury Lexus sedan with a driver. I guess not enough of a fancy car for Jane Philpott to consider it a limo, and yet by any dictionary definition, it would suffice. This is an example of people getting entitled to their entitlements. This is an example of people deciding that we owe them a certain level of comfort and taxpayers' dollars be damned may seem like an insignificant amount of money compared to what the federal government spends, just seven and a half thousand dollars, but ask David Dingwall about his chicklets, ask Mike Duffy about his expense accounts. What can bring politicians into disrepute in the eyes of the public often isn't the billion dollars like on the gas plants and Kathleen Wynne, but more often it's the small figures, the, the pettiness that bothers people. And that's what's going on with Phil Pot here. With her actions and her lying to Parliament, and there's no other way to put it, she has exposed herself as a limousine liberal. She has exposed herself as someone that isn't really there to look out for the little guy or keep an eye on the public purse. She's there to reward her friends and make sure that she is comfortable on your dime. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.